Hey Cece! Okay, so I'm here at the Festival of the Holidays, so let's get into the park and see what I can eat. Cheesecake, and it is from Making Spirits Bride over there at the little festival booth. Yum! Let's try this. But this is a pumpkin cheesecake. It's layered. Hmm. Huh. Tastes just like pumpkin pie on top of cheesecake, which is why it's called layered pumpkin cheesecake. Anyway, I have eight meals to, or eight samples to try and I've got to actually eat everything today because I forgot to bring Ziploc bags. So that's going to be fun. Anyway, I really didn't want to start off with sweets, but it was the closest booth where I ordered all my food. So we'll see. But stay tuned and you'll see all the other fun stuff that I've got. I ordered. I ordered it all, so that was one cool thing about here. You can go to one booth, order everything, and then um, and then just go up to the pickup windows and then pick them all up. By the way, like my ears, I made them. So uh, if you want, I'll put the link to my Etsy store in the description, and you can guys you can look for them later. No trash can table time for me. It's actually a neat little area. This is bought by Grizzly Peak. So I got two sliders from the slider, winter slider land. And this one is the chicken. There's a lot of stuff in here. Hmm. Okay. Mm. That's really good. Um, it's kind of got the. It said it's teriyaki, um, so I think it's a little obviously spicy. Um, not too spicy, not hot spicy. Flavorful, and then this is like a. It's almost like a chicken salad. Actually, I really wanted savory, so I'm glad I found the slider. And then, of course, I also got the beef. Which is messy, 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 messy. Yikes. Oh, it is messy. Mmm. But it is soft. This is what I, I wanted to start off the day with. I started off with the cheesecake. It was a little sweet. I do think that I actually like the chicken, uh, if you didn't see it, the chicken better than the beef. The beef is good, it's not bad or anything. It's just that I think today, I, I haven't had chicken for a while. Uh, I had steak yesterday, so I had a lot of beef already. So I think I, I really actually like the chicken. Also, uh, you know, the chicken has pickles on it, so that's kind of cool. And this one has nothing but meat, and I think marinara sauce or something like that. So anyway, I would choose the chicken, though they're not all equal. So which means is yours, your chicken might not look like my chicken when you get it. Uh, a lady prior to me, she hated it because she didn't get any of the um, chicken, this one that looks like chicken salad. 
she only got the taragashi chicken and so she was really unhappy. So not all sandwiches are made the same here. I got the hot chocolate and it's really really good but it's also warm today in the sun so I have no idea why I got the hot chocolate except for I really wanted to try it and it does smell like Oreo cookies and everything. I'll post some pictures of what it looks like on the chart because this is not what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> so, they gave it to us in these cups but you know they make a really pretty picture of it for the menu board but anyway. They have, uh, I'm not gonna really be able to pick it up. I'll show you the picture, but it's an adobe, a uh, pork belly adobe, uh, and it's on rice. And I think these are um, the pork rinds, so I don't know if you can see that. Um, pretty good. Let's see, I've got two more stops to go to, uh, they are over at Monsters Inc. I actually found a nice little place where I could um, be kind of tucked away, but I don't know if you can hear me because I'm right on the opposite side of Avengers Campus and their music is loud. Anyway, let's try the macaron. Oh, ooh. Oh. Okay. If you are a chocolate lover, you're going to love this. It is super chocolatey. They said it was like a Twix, but it doesn't taste like a Twix. This is what it looks like inside. I don't know what this is. I think this is just a, yeah, this is just a chocolate. I think it was an atom for Merry Christmas. Or M for Munchy, 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 Munchy. Anyway, I don't know why I start off with the sweets. I'm gonna have the pork belly, which I'm always a fan of pork belly. So, there's the pork belly. Oh, hello, the rice is falling. Hmm. It's salty, it's very tasty. Um, good thing there's rice. There's a little tang on it, so I think there's a little lime, maybe. But they have, maybe it's lime rice. Yeah, this is a winner. So far, I like the chicken slider and this pork belly. This pork belly I can't go wrong with for me. Um, I haven't really found a sweet that I really like. Again, the pumpkin cheesecake was all right. It wasn't the best. This is really, really chocolatey. So, I don't know if I can finish this off. I did not, like I said, bring Ziploc bags this time, so maybe I can wrap it up in a, in a um, napkin. But I have a feeling it'll melt and get all messy and gross, so I guess I'm gonna have to scoff it down. But like I said, I've got two more uh, stops, and then I will have eaten my way through pretty much all the boots. I think there's only like three I didn't get to, or two that I didn't get to. So I'll look at the book again and I'll just uh, kind of map it out and uh, see which ones I didn't go to. One was just like uh, vegan food 
and the other one was like drinks and stuff, so like beer and things. And um, I'm driving, so I'm not gonna drink. Silent night, holy night. Oh. Okay, Cece, I am down to my last two items. Uh, it is the tamale and. I was mistaken. The Santa macaron was not with Twix. It's actually the Twix tart. So I'll go get that last. But this is the Coca-Cola tamale. And it looks amazing. Uh, if it was as good as the pork belly, I will be happy. So let's take a look. Let's see. Mmm. Oh, it's meaty and it's spicy. I'm gonna need to get some water later. Attention in the room, since I think I see the bird, I show it to make it slow. Seven minutes, seven minutes, not eight, not six, but seven minutes. If you haven't guessed, I'm sitting in my same spot that I always sit at over here by the exit for Philharmonic uh, or Philharmagic. And they actually have a band playing over in the little uh, kiosk area, um, the staging area where they usually have like during summer they'll have like Alice in Wonderland baking uh, demonstrations over there. And then they'll also have like a couple of dancing. Um, characters and stuff, but today it's, uh, I don't know if it's a high school band or not, so I have no idea, but they are playing uh, Christmas music, so fun! Anyway, uh, I have to be honest and say that I've never eaten so much food in, like, literally two hours. <laughs> I mean, I've gone from booth to booth to booth to booth to booth, pretty much non-stop, eating and then going to the next booth, because I want to get, ob obviously, all of my eight things before I leave the park, and I'm usually not here um, at the park very long, because I have to get home to my fur baby, but anyway, um, yeah, so today was kind of just to eat my way through the park, and I have definitely, in the last two hours, eaten my way through the park. I am on my last uh, food item, which is that tart. I have not gone to get it. I'm going to finish the tamale and then I will go get that one. Uh, first off, but I did want to say shout out to my hairstylist, um, if she's watching, <laughs> Diana. She actually gave me the bangs and a uh, little bob going. Uh, you probably saw it in the last couple of videos, but I didn't really uh, mention it. I forgot to say thank you to her. And let's see what else. So yeah, stay tuned. I'll be getting a dessert soon. Something else I wanted to add about this tamale, it's really a good size. So um, it's definitely shareable if you want to just cut it in half. It's, it's, it's actually one of the larger portions of food that I've gotten today, except for the sliders. The sliders were like, you know, slider size. They were regular size. But this tamale is very, very good. But warning, if you are monorails passing by, if you are at all against spicy food, this one is actually hot. It's actually burning my tongue, but it, the flavor is so good. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it all. And then I'm gonna have to go get another bottle of water. That's for sure. But I want to just say that this is a really good size portion to Molly. I still have half. Um, and even when the guy gave it to me, he was like, oh, you got a large to Molly. So again, not sure if every, uh, you know, if every tamale is going to be the same size, but this is a very good size tamale. table is jiggly and whatever but I have my last item of the eight tabs 
Okay, so this is the Twix. This doesn't look like a Twix either, so I have no idea why they called it a Twix tart. We have three minutes to show up, folks. Three minutes then showing up Yankees for more magic. Three minutes. I... Mm. <laughs> mm. This one's good too. It's chocolatey. All right. My mouth is full. The mousse inside is creamy, very chocolatey. The crust, super dry. Um, that's it for my water. I'm going to have to go get another bottle. But, um, I'm going to be sick. I mean, I'll be honest and... I got here at 12. It's two o'clock. <laughs> so yeah, so can you eat eight booths worth of food in two hours? Yeah, you can. Uh, you're not gonna feel good afterwards because I can tell you right now, I don't feel good. I haven't finished this little tart, but I will. Uh, I wish that I brought my Ziploc bags like I normally do, and then I could, you know, throw some of the sweet ones, the sweet tasting um, desserts in a, ba a bag and take it home with me and eat it later tonight, but I literally had to swap those down because I don't have any Ziploc bags. Uh, the savory food, amazing. I am a sweets person, so... I just am not a big chocolate person and everything is really chocolate. And I get it, it's Christmas time and it's lots of chocolate and everything, so. Anyway, I'm gonna choke this down and I I literally mean I'm gonna choke it down because the crust is really dry and I don't have any more water. So <laughs> in two hours I got to uh, a couple of the booths, but I ate eight I ate eight uh, tabs of food and I did not let my um, food festival badge go to waste it actually is a very good deal if you um, are coming to the food festival I highly recommend always getting one of the sip and savor passes again you get eight tabs you can use them on anything but alcohol and um, and I think it's actually a good deal it for magic key holders you do get a discount so that's uh, that. Take that into consideration. Also, when you're, um, if you do get the, the the sip and savor tab, I would definitely recommend that you get. Um, and the next show, the Mickey's Store Magic in 16 minutes. 16 minutes next show, the Mickey's Store Magic. Copies of the menus and how much the prices are, and then just make sure that you go get the most expensive item at each one of the booths, and you will have made money. Well, I guess you don't make money. But you know what I'm saying. It's more bang for your buck. Okay, I figured out it's Twix inspired because there's um, caramel at the bottom of the chocolate. And maybe this is, you know, the hard crust is supposed to be the cookie crunch to the Twix. I, I have no idea, but there's caramely stuff at the bottom. I'm going to be sick. Ugh.
Okay, made it back into my car and I'm heading home. Uh, just wanted to say again, thanks for joining me on this fast food festival. Uh, I'm gonna go home and probably have indigestion. But, <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess you can hit, uh, or at least you can eat eight items in two hours. Uh, the booths were actually pretty light as far as crowd goes today, but uh, today is a Thursday, and um, this is one of the reasons why I did not want to do the food festival um, while I was here on Black Friday, because it was just so crazy. At least this time, um, when it's a little bit less crowded, uh, while the booths might be busy, you know, ordering food or picking up the food, you can actually find a place to sit. So anyway, again, I'm Elaine. Thanks for following me. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Hey, I also wanted to let you guys know that if you ever see me in the park, uh, come by and say hi. I'm always carrying a little bit of pixie dust. I normally give these to the cast members when they're really, really nice to me. Ah, uh, here's Angel's head. He seems to like the uh, little pixie dust too, but I like to give them to the cast members every once in a while, um, you know, just in case they do something really, really nice. I also still have the keys as well. They're bottle openers, of course. So yeah, if you see me, stop by and say hi and I'll have a little pixie dust for you.